Hello, uh, in this video, let us see what is Azure table storage. In the previous video, we have seen uh, what is Azure blob storage. So let's see uh, the other types of other type of uh, uh, storage uh, in Azure, which is Azure table storage. So before uh, going forward, if you, are, if you are new to this channel and uh, haven't have subscribed uh, for this channel, please do like and uh, subscribe the channel and also don't forget to press bell button for instant notifications. So let's get started. So before actually jumping to the Azure table storage, so let us understand the key value concept. So key value is one of the concept uh, of how do you store the data physically, right? So whenever you want to store the data uh, physically, so you want to store it in this format. So where there is a key which actually act, uh, acts as an identifier and there will be a value. So which is actually paired with this key. And uh, so this value will be identified by this key. And also this key is, uh, can be used for some, some other pu uh, purpose like partition and partitioning or indexing uh, based on certain things. Uh, so this is actually the key concept, key, a key value concept. So uh, say for example, you are having a customer ID as a key uh, and this is customer ID 1 and you can see the value. So where you have first name, uh, last name and uh, pin code, city, so all these options and also the uh, customer ID 2, you can see here uh, you have first name, last name. But uh, please note that, so there is one important thing here. So you need not have all these columns, right? In, in for the uh, customer ID 1, we have many columns, right? Uh, many. Uh, uh, items basically like first name last name age city pin code all these options right but here in this for customer id 2 you don't have much of the options for customer id 3 so there are uh, different options along with that there is a balance uh, which is additional that means so each uh, value can be different so that is the main uh, concept here to understand so this gives the flexible schema so the schema is not fixed basically here uh, like unlike uh, if you talk about a structured uh, uh, tables right where we have a row column their format so there you need to have all the all the columns present in all for all each rows right it is not like that here so uh, it is flexible based on uh, whatever value is available so for each uh, individual uh, row basis so this is actually key value concept and uh, let's go to the next slide where we actually talk about uh, the key value format storage so where we will go in detail and understand uh, with respect to azure table what are the, what is the concept of this key value format storage right so this is actually a no sql storage so this is type of a no sql storage uh, where you don't have the uh, where you don't have proper uh, tabular structure where you want to store the data in a row and uh, columnar format uh, or uh, it is it is, doesn't have any fixed schema so that's why we are calling it as a schema less so row number 1 item number 1 can have a different schema item number 2 can have a different schema so that's why we are calling it as a schema less here and uh, so the, uh, as we saw in the previous uh, slide so this is the concept of key value pair and uh, each row Right, each row is, is uh, each row is identified with a name as a item. So we call row as an item, and we call column as a field. So if you go back, so each row, so each row is uh, what we call it as a item, and column is called it as a field. So this is one item, right? And this is uh, one column if you're talking, right? This is one field. This is one field, and this is a second field like that, right? Yeah, basically these are the columns, customer ID value. So this this is one. Uh, uh, column so this column is called as fields here in the in the, in the concept of uh, azure table storage so hope this is clear and uh, and there is no relationship between uh, each tables because as you see right, the data is definitely not a structured format so definitely we cannot have any uh, relations uh, between each of the tables and we don't have any stored procedures but we have stored procedures in a uh, uh, cosmos db which is a premium version of this azure storage so that's we will see the upcoming videos but here uh, when we talk about azure table storage so we don't have any stored procedures and uh, we can uh, store the data in a denormalized format. So if you talk about uh, the raw data, which, which we are getting, right? So we usually store the data and uh, normalize the data, right? We uh, normalize the data before performing any kind of analysis on the, on the data. So that kind of uh, normalization is not needed here. So because uh, we can uh, directly, it is a little schema less, right? So we, we don't need that. That is one reason. And other reason, so if you have a data which has, you know, which we want to have a lot of normalization required, so then definitely uh, this is not a uh, best solution, uh, best storage to use for that kind of data. Basically Azure, Blob Store, uh, Azure table storage is meant for uh, some sim simple uh, data. When I say simple data, it doesn't have any relations, it doesn't have any joins, it doesn't have any relationship between other tables or dependency between other tables. So with respect to that, it is a simple kind of uh, data. So that's why we don't need a denormalized data here. So we have a denormalized data here. And uh, table, table partition uh, for faster access. So if you are familiar with the uh, SQL, right? So in SQL, we have a concept of uh, indexing partitions. So similarly, we have partitioning here as well. So that can be based on a certain key. 
so uh, suppose if you want to partition based on a country like uh, we can have a partitions based on uh, some uh, pin code or you can also have a partition based on uh, some uh, year or month kind of partitions so that will actually help uh, uh, access the data in a faster way, faster way and it also supports a large volume of data so as you can observe here so there is a contrast volume we can have a large volume of data but the complexity of data if you see right so the complexity of data should be less and uh, the dependency of the data should be less and uh, it should be uh, denormalized data so th this is actually the contrast you should be able to understand this cont contrast so then will be then only you'll be able to understand when to go for uh, azure table storage and file storage uh, is a premium version i mean the, the premium version of file storage is what we call it as a cosmos db and if you are to sh uh, do a new implementation right so the azure table storage is a old version so might be azure might uh, remove uh, or decommission this uh, azure file storage because uh, i don't see any uh, strong use case to azure uh, to choose azure stable storage since they have already introduced cosmos db so if you are choosing uh, for a new project uh, the azure file, file storage so better to choose uh, or better to go with the cosmos db which is a premium version of file storage uh, and since it is a managed uh, managed services one of the managed services in azure so this is a scalable as well in the next uh, slide uh, let us understand what is the what are the use cases for Azure Table Storage? So when you have to go for Azure Table, uh, Azure Table Storage, right? So let us understand that uh, concepts. Uh, say you have a huge volume of data that might be like uh, in TBs, like terabytes of uh, maybe structured data or unstructured data, and uh, the data is not uh, high, tightly covered, as I was mentioned. So since the, since uh, there should not be a relationship between these, each uh, tables, so data should not be dependent on any other uh, tables. So it should be mostly independent table. So data data should not be uh, tightly covered. And also, there should not be a complex relationship between uh, each each tables. So, if you're talking about a customer table and transaction table and some other table, and you want to join these and bring the uh, analysis on top of that, so then definitely th this table storage is not uh, meant for that kind of uh, bringing the relationships, right? This is actually meant for some small, simple uh, queries or uh, without any joins or uh, uh, relationships. And also, it is not meant for complex transformations. If you want to go for uh, some kind of uh, uh, transformations right data transformations uh, for uh, especially for the analysis so that is not meant for that simple transformations yes but not not complex transformation because it is not optimized for uh, that purpose and uh, if you see the example right hope you can understand this so much better so you see you have a logging system dashboard suppose you have an application which is actually uh, splitting out the logs and on top of that logs uh, log table you want to create a simple dashboard right so in this use case uh, you can refer uh, you will be having only one table or uh, maximum two tables and you want to join those two tables and bring that into a dashboard so there you don't have much kind of transformations or uh, much kind of relationship that you want to establish and also similarly live uh, web traffic website traffic so you want to capture some uh, logs of the website and then uh, build that uh, website traffic uh, dashboard and maybe some performance monitoring as i was mentioning uh, so similar to the dashboard you want to have some performance mon monitoring of application or the system uh, so in that case also you can go for your table storage so this is uh, with the examples so hope uh, the concept of azure table storage is much clear i mean the use case uh, when you want to go for this table storage right so now let us see uh, in the azure portal how actually this uh, blob uh, that azure table storage looks like so i am i am inside the azure uh, storage accounts now uh, i have a storage account which is already created i am going inside the storage account and as you can see the container is for blobs that we have seen seen in the previous video and uh, next uh, you see the table storage so this is what we call azure table storage and uh, so since similarly how we create containers inside this uh, block for the block storage we have to create tables for this table storage so i want to give the name here so yeah it is having some kind of validations i'm just making it simpler Yeah, we have uh, successfully created the table storage and as you can see for the blog also it was creating some kind of url unique url so for table storage also it has created a url to access the table storage you can see here and uh, so you can if you see you can you cannot go inside this table and do something here right so for the, uh, if you want to add some data to this so then you have to go for storage browser here so it is in preview mode but uh, you can go here and click on the table storage so you go to the table storage and it will list all the tables in that you have created so I'm just going inside this table, and as you meant, as you see, there is no uh, record found because we have not added any data there. So now let's add an entry here. So partition key. So partition key is important. So whenever you are choosing a partition key, as I as I was mentioning, it should be based on some country or uh, 
basically it is a logical partitioning right so you should choose something which is more logical to you and uh, which actually brings uh, the uniform uh, partitioning so one partition should not uh, actually become a bigger partition than the other partition right so if you are choosing a country partition so then your data might be uh, for one country it might be very huge data and another country it might be with less data less data very very less data compared to other country so in that case uh, choosing the country partition is not good so you should choose some other partition based on uh, that particular data so which is which basically distribute the data uh, so that is there are different uh, factors to choose the partition key but uh, that is not in the in this scope of the video to explain those so but yeah let us as uh, for the time being so let us uh, create a partition based on the country so i'm just giving usa here and uh, row key I'm just giving uh, one and I can go on adding the columns here so the first name I can give ABC add property and last name XYZ so now I, have, I can just insert it so this record will be inserted into, the, into, into this table and let's go ahead and insert one more record in this table so I'm just giving now as India as a partition key partition row as uh, 02 first name as mn q last name and here i will try to give h 10 and something city plus and y so let's go ahead and insert this so now we can see since i've inserted the data in this table so let's click this table and see how it actually looks like so you can see here uh, it has given it has added the uh, timestamp as a default row by by default it has added but uh, the age is missing for the second first record and uh, city is also missing but uh, for the first second record those those records have been added so basically it's a schema less uh, this is the concept of schema less right so we can have a flexible schema so another row we can insert so which can have 10 rows or uh, 10 columns and which, which might be completely different from this so hope uh, this is this is a hope this concept of uh, Azure table storage you understood, and uh, thanks for watching.